Hello. So what am I doing today? I was out cutting hedges with one of these babies. And before I realized it, I cut my extension cord. <laughs> Do I get angry? Of course not. What does a YouTuber do? They think, hey, time for a video. Let's repair the extension cord. I'm sure most of you know how to do this. There's a couple of ways. You can solder the leads back together and then tape them. Or you can use connectors, which is what I'm going to do, because when you solder it, you got to wrap all the tape around those little, you know, you got three wires all soldered together, and then you got to get the tape in there, and it's a real pain in the neck. All right, well, first thing I got to do is strip the insulation, and the easiest way to do that is to bend it, take a knife, and just, well, we don't need that much, and just easily cut into it and because it's bent as soon as it cuts through the outer layer it'll open up and then bend it in another direction and just cut a little bit and a little more until you cut all the way around okay see and it separates and you just pull it off Okay, and there's my three wires. All right, so that's one end. And we'll do the same thing on this end. Bend it over your finger. Just cut in with the knife gently. And as soon as it breaks through the insulation, it'll open up. That way you don't cut into the wire or the insulation below it. Okay, okay, separates, just pull it off. All right, next thing we gotta do is we gotta clean up all these burnt ends. Oh, this is a, a real crummy tool here. It's probably made in China. Okay, now we're going to pick the correct gauge. Uh, this looks to be 14, maybe it's 12, but anyway, you want about a quarter inch or less. It depends on if you're using connectors or you're going to be doing it by soldering. Okay, now we got all the ends stripped on this end. Now I like to give them a little twist. Okay, for that. Now, I've got to select the right connectors here. Uh, don't have my glasses on. Mm. Fourteen. Well, there's one way to find out if the connector slides over the wire. It's the right size. If it doesn't, it's too small. Mm -hmm. I think that's too small. That's good. All right, so that one's blue, and you look on your tool, and you find the the one for blue. 
10 to 15. All right, well, I'm going to crimp this. First, you crimp it behind the bulge to lock the wire in place. And then there's one here for insulation only. You crimp that one where the bulge is to crimp the insulation over it. Okay, so we got one. And now I think the ground wire is a smaller gauge. Okay, so here's the load wire, the black. Lock the wire, crimp the insulation. Okay, let me just see. I think the ground wire is a smaller gauge wire. Mm, nope. It's kind of trying to go on there. All right, it's going on. Spin it around a little bit. The wire. The insulation. Okay. We got one half. Same thing here. Clip all the wires the same length. That makes a little twist. Some of that looks a little long. Okay. So, uh, you just join them up. White to white. Well, I'm going to do the ground first because I might have to have a little trouble putting that one in. It's a smaller connector. the wire <clears throat> tug on it a little bit make sure it's secure insulation black which is your load Sure, he is pushed in all the way. Ah. And the insulation. Okay. There we have it. They're all connected. 
Make sure they're all... Oh, look at that. Came out. Not good. Probably should have stuck with the blue connector on this one. Okay, we got it. Oh, look at this. Now this one's out. Holy crap. What a shitty tool. All right, we got him. Okay, now if you want to keep this extension cord waterproof, you really can't just use electrical tape. You have to use, they make special tape, rubberized for joining watertight connections. Okay, everything is good. And what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to clamp it to, uh, let me move this. I'm going to clamp it the cord to the table so that I can pull on this to keep it straight. And wait a minute. I'm going to pull off a piece of this rubberized tape. Peel the back of this off. Okay, now it doesn't feel real sticky. And it stretches. You pull it tight and stretch it over the connection.
go out over the original shielding well, a few times, you know, go over by a half an inch or so. And you end up with a, it's all kind of rubberized and waterproof. We're going to start past the rubberized tape and stretching it a little bit as we go. Go back the other way. And that's it. We have our repair. I hope. <laughs>